This is the first of three uh, joint projects that are right now on the table, but we're going to be doing two more, thanks to Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Henry Ornstein, three more um, around New York City, and we'll be working closely uh, together. I want to thank, and we'll be hearing from some of our elected officials shortly, um, and thank them for being here, State Senator Dan Squadron, Assemblyman Joe Lentola here, and we thank them for their help and their support of this particular program, but also of programs like this elsewhere in the city. I understand that they are also supportive of Masbia's Borough Park office. We're also honored to have with us Malcolm Holmline, who's the Executive Vice Chairman of the Conference of Presidents of Major American Jewish Organizations, and Rabbi David Niederman, President of the United Jewish Organizations of Williamsburg, and somebody who we've worked very closely with for more than 20 years to serve the Jewish community in Williamsburg. I saw Heshi Jacob, who's the president of Hatzola, is here as well, and we thank him for coming. Now I'd like to introduce my partner in, in doing this, and I didn't mention him before, because he is such an integral part of this effort and of everything the Met Council does, but he's also taken on a new life-saving role, and that is as the chief executive of the Hatzola Volunteer Ambulance Corps. And he is actually the person who conceived of the conversation with Henry, Henry and, and Susie Orenstein, to talk about doing this project. So ladies and gentlemen, somebody who is constantly looking to fulfill mitzvahs every minute of the day. Today is the first result of that, uh, the first fruits of that conversation. But we hope, with Henry and Susie's help, to open a place shortly in the next couple of weeks in Queens. We're already working. We've been, again, uh, we began the demolition today, and hopefully by uh, Thanksgiving or shortly thereafter, we will have a, another location on Queens Boulevard. We'll move it up. Um, following that, we expect to open with, uh, with the Orensteins one or two more facilities, hopefully in Brooklyn, on the far end of Brooklyn and Brighton Beach, Coney Island, and possibly in Manhattan on the east side as well. Uh, also, of course, you heard that Masbia would like to introduce uh, Senator Alex Rappaport, who is really the guy who dreamed up the whole idea of Masbia, of feeding people in a nice way, in a nice environment, with a good, nutritious meal every day. And the later part of the day, of the supper time, uh, for the elderly, for people with families, for all kinds of individuals. That was really his idea. He undertook it by himself. We got involved uh, a year or two later and said, how can we help? And we've been trying to help ever since. And I think this is the first, really the first joint effort that we're doing. And that we're very proud of the fact that not only are we able to open this place with the help of the Orange family, uh, but also the fact that we're doing it as a joint effort between two organizations, which is very unusual. Uh, very often, everybody has this idea, let's do something together. Uh, and I think that's the name, isn't that? Who says that? Well, was the uh, building, yeah. Let's build something together. And very often it doesn't work out because egos get in the way and people have all different kinds of ideas how things should be done. But we've been very fortunate that we're working with a wonderful young man, uh, Mr. Rappaport and his associates, uh, and we're able to do something together and really syn synthesize our efforts and get a better result of it. Uh, it's interesting that we have two individuals here who are the, really the key people involved. One is Mr. Orenstein, and the other is uh, Senator Rappaport. Uh, one grew up in Nazi-dominated uh, Europe, and the other grew up in this country. One is approximately, I don't want to give any secrets, at least 50 plus years older than the other. Uh, they come from slightly different uh, orientations uh, ideologically. Uh, but when it gets down to tachlis, when it gets down to the basis of what it means to be a Jew, what it means to be a humanitarian or a human being, they're very much the same. And that is that they care about what happens to the other guy. And uh, Henry has shown me over 30, now the 31 years that we know each other, uh, that he always cares about what happens to the other guy. Uh, he's uh, not a demonstrative person doesn't make a big deal about it. In fact, it's only recently that we've been able to get come out of his, uh, uh, his, uh, his shell to, to show people what he does. And it's only because it's a way of introducing other people to the wonders of doing good things and mitzvahs and uh, charity. And uh, the other fellow is someone that himself also 
has spent the last at least three and a half years concerned and interested in how to help as many other people as possible. And so I think it's a good shidduch every which way around. And I want to thank Sender, and I want to thank, of course, Henry and Susie and their whole family and friends that are here uh, for bringing this to fruition. It's a really wonderful uh, program in the midst of Williamsburg, which is almost like a throwback in some ways. Uh, to the old country, but nevertheless, we still have many, many people here who need help, uh, who can use a good meal, who can use a place to come, where they'll not only get a meal, they'll get some services if they want, the council will be here to make contact with them and see if there's some way else that we can help them. So I want to wish everybody who's here, uh, I want to thank everybody who's here, uh, I want to thank the public officials, without mentioning names, we already did that, and uh, we appreciate your help and your support. Uh, and uh, we look forward to everybody coming here in the future as volunteers. But you're going to have to put on this hat. And you're going to have to put on a, an apron. I don't know if there's one big enough for me for the apron side. But after, after the program is finished, uh, we're going to have, we're going to serve some people who come in. There's a, a group of young women who will be coming in today with kids uh, for service. and, and uh, uh, we're going to expect everybody, Henry, everybody, to don the garb. We've had some very ex distinguished public officials who come in and put on the apron and put on the hat, and they've done very well. And they can all get jobs as waiters if they have to. But let's hope that they don't need to. And the same I say to you, Henry. Let's hope you don't need to get a job as a waiter. <laughs> thank you very much. And it's always been a pleasure. Okay, thank you, Henry. Thank you, David. Thank you, Lily. Thank you all for coming. Um, I've been working with uh, these two people for many, many years. And it's just, uh, for those of you that don't know, they have built an organization from virtually nothing. And I've witnessed it. To have the largest organization of its kind in America, and they are helping literally tens of thousands of people. And I'm very happy that they gave me an opportunity to be part of that. Um, I was lucky enough to make more money than I need for my own needs and my family needs. And my orientation until recently was older people, people who have no money. So we help them with uh, rent, we help them with uh, dentures, with refrigerators with uh, eyeglasses, with hearing aids, and, uh, and I think uh, that makes a difference in their lives very often. Now, I've taken my, or Susie and I have taken our second course, and that is because of the situation that developed economically, more and more people, there will be more. So eventually we'll have quite a few uh, kitchens in the New York greater area, maybe beyond that, to feed hungry people. Also, I'm now working, possibly we have an Ornstein building in Kiryat Ono, Israel, which uh, has uh, uh, some 14 apartments and a daycare center for people to gather, older people. And I'm working now on establishing a kitchen. Because a lot of hungry people over there, I hear maybe 200,000 people in Israel now who don't have enough to eat. So we are going to open some facility there to help feed people in Kiryat Ono, maybe later other places. So anyway, I want to thank you again for coming. And again, thanks for David and Willie, who made tremendous partners and selflessly worked for so long. Thank you very much.